Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at how to create a button on your quick access toolbar to activate center across selection, which is a better choice than using the merge and center and I'll show you how and why in this tutorial. Now this is a trick I learned from Minda Treacy at my online training hub and I will include in the notes below her tutorial on this topic. But before we jump into that, please take a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you will get a notice whenever I put out a new video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also find me at one of the social media sites you see here. So now, let's check out today's topic. So here's our scenario. I have two identical sets of data here for year 2021 and year 2022. And I want to center the year across the whole five columns here. And normally, most people would use the merge and center option that's in the ribbon. And if you do that, all you need to do is highlight that range where you want it to center it and click on merge and center. I'll do the same here, click on merge and center. The alternative way, and I have a tutorial for this, and I will include that in the notes below too, is to use the center across selection. And how you do that is you highlight the range and then you use the keyboard shortcut control one to bring up your format cells. Go to alignment, and in the horizontal, select Center Across Selection, click OK, and it centers it like that. Same thing, I'll do it down here. Highlight that range, Control-1, Alignment tab, Center Across Selection, and say OK. Now I have the same result in both of them, but you notice in order to use Merge and Center, all I had to do was highlight and click one button. The center across selection required me to hit several different selections or several different clicks to get to that end result. But the benefit is if I want to highlight just one column of data in my charts here, in merge and center, if I selected this and started to drag down, as soon as I hit that merge and center cell, it expands it all. And I can't just highlight one single column but with center across selection, I can do that very easily. So what I would like to do is create a button on my quick access toolbar so I can have that simple one button click to create that center across selection. Now right now I happen to have my quick access toolbar hidden, so I'm going to go ahead and activate that. So here's my quick access toolbar, and I have two buttons here. In my personal XLSB workbook, I have CAS1, which is Center Across Selection 1, and Center Across Selection 2. So for example, if I change these back, I'm going to go ahead and use the Format Painter to just change these back to the way they were. I'll close that. Now if I highlight this range, click that one button, boom, it does it as easily as Merge and Center does. And I have two different ones, and I'll show you the difference of what they are. But basically, this is VBA code. And on the second tab of the worksheet, you'll see it's called VBA code. I have two different codes that you can opt to use either one. CAS1 is this code here and CAS2 is just a much simpler version. I've eliminated all the notes that are within the CAS1 code, plus I've eliminated a couple of steps that change it slightly and maybe give you a slightly different benefit to that. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and just type my name here. If I go to highlight this and click on CAS2, notice it centers it very nicely. Now one thing you need to know about activating VBA code is you cannot undo them. If I hit Control Z here, nothing happens. If I go up to the undo, notice it says can't undo. VBA code does not allow you to use the undo function in Excel. 
Now with the CAS1 code that has all the notes and a few extra options, the benefit of that is, for example, if I just select one cell and click on it, it's going to say, please select multiple cells to apply the formatting. Then you need to select multiple cells and then click that and it will center it accordingly. The benefit of the second version is if you don't select multiple cells and click that, it will center it just within that one cell. So that might be something that could be a benefit to be able to have this replace either the merge and center or the centering button up here. So you have a choice either way, whichever one you want to incorporate into your code. Now, how do we do this? Well, what we need to do is open up the VBA editor by using the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. And with Alt F11, your VBA editor will pop up. And notice you have, for in this case, a list of any of the files that you have open. In this case, I have four different ones. And in that, one of them is a personal.xlsb workbook. Now, if you don't have a personal.xlsb workbook, you need to create one. And I'll, again, I'll include down in the notes below the process to create a personal.xlsb workbook. Now, what this does, for those of you who may not be familiar with it, it allows you to store macros that you can use on any workbook that you open. For example, here I have no macros in this file and if I inserted one I would only be able to use that code for this specific workbook but notice I have a few different modules in my personal XLSB workbook including the center across selection and the center across selection 2 that I can use in any workbook so for example if I go ahead and open up a brand new workbook and I entered my name selected some cells clicked on that notice even though I have no code in this work because I have a personal XLSB workbook and the code stored in that I can use it for any workbook that I open I'm gonna go ahead and not save this in addition the process to create a personal.xlsb workbook requires you to have the developer tab and if you don't have the developer tab again in the notes below I have a link to a process to access the developer tab on your workbook so all you would need to do is use the keyboard shortcut alt F11 go to your personal.xlsb workbook and insert a module now here we've created module 1 and then within that module copy either code that you want the sub CS 1 or sub CAS 2 paste it into that module and then save it hit your save button up in the corner here which will save it to your personal XLSB workbook and then you'll have access to use it in any workbook that you open. The last step is adding buttons to your quick access toolbar. So how you would do that is click the down arrow at the end of your quick access toolbar and go to more commands. The Excel options dialog box pops up and under choose commands from you would choose macros and you will get a list of all the macros that are either in this workbook or in your personal.xlsb workbook and here are the two that we have you would select each one individually and click add now I'm not going to do that because I already have them there and once you do that it will put them on your quick access toolbar once you've added them both, you can select them, click Modify, and choose whatever icon you want so you can distinguish these from other icons and commands that you have in your Quick Access Toolbar. Click OK, and then OK again, and now you will have any or both of those in your Quick Access Toolbar. And that's how you can do this in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up 
And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so to any of the social networks you see here. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.